So we have a fifth dimension. That's a fifth studio album by Stone Boy. And you can see it's a very private listening session. Yeah, private enough for us to have earphones, right? And old. You've, you've, you've been privileged to all the 17 tracks. Honest opinion about Fifth Dimension. Impressive, impressive. Um, that's an awesome project from Stone Boy. Um, Thank you. Ah, this like is I said in my submission, one, variety of songs. Um, you get the soothing songs, you get the danceable songs. Charlie, Most impressively was his, was his ability to Thank inculcate the much. every language. Um, you know, Stone Boy is now an international yeah, well, artist. Said, and so uh, for him to actually recognize that he needs to sell the language, sell Ghana, sell Africa. That's that's impressive for, for, from Stone Boy. I I thought with the fourth album he had gotten all the growth he had he, he will ever need. But it looks like there's still more growth in on the fifth dimension. Yeah, fifth dimension is under one of the best or biggest record labels in the world, Dev Jam. And so that offers him a new market. That provides him a new fan base. And so, like he said, he's, he's done it all with the f four albums. But it's important that he, he enters new domain with this new, new album. And for me, I think he's on track. I mean, the production is on point. The style is on point. The lyrics are on point. For me, I think this, this album would go far. Well, you heard it. Doreen, your fear was ever since the Def Jam sign. Your fear sure was you're gonna, you, you, we're exactly going to have a change Stone Boy from what we know. For the, there has for been the growth, so there's been change. <laughs> Honestly, there's been a beautiful See, growth. I, I mean, we all know Stone Boy started with all this whole dance hall kind of some reggae thing, but you can tell that he has ever. evolved. He's I moved in, and whatever we are all here. looking for in terms of That's Ghanaian music, I, he has gradually I done it. And one important thing that he's done that really excites me is the fact that he's been able to work to with to our producers you know, here so in Ghana. Even though some of them don't live here, they live outside, but so I think that working with them has added up a lot. I don't know how he was able to decide that this person, that person, or this person is the right person, but at the end of the day, this album is beautiful, and I I believe that Stone Boy is going to go on a beautiful tour and he's going to really make Ghana proud. Okay, well, he said it earlier that he was going to go on a na nationwide tour. I don't know when he releases this album, but if this is the f national tour we are expecting or anticipating from Stone Boy, it is a Fifth Dimension album that he'll be going on a tour with. Boo! Yeah, you jammed to almost all the songs. There has definitely been growth with Stone Boy. Is it the growth that is actually going to break the boundaries and also prelude him like he is known globally? Yes, and 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 yes, because for every album since I've known him, for every album is a step up. Now, if you if you listen to this particular, song, is this is not your, your ordinary production? When I spoke earlier, I spoke about the tempo. The international tempo is mid these days if you listen to most of the songs that are being churned out globally in terms of afrobeats it's mid tempo and and he's got it right the lyrics the style and and and, and the production itself and one of the things that i love is he's he's he's, he's not staying in one place look at the the producers he's used from um dj breezy to praise to street beats um, I think I think there's there's something he wants to tell with this particular album, and 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 when you listen, there's a journey, and you see where this will take you. Angelique Kijo, Shaggy, Dexter Dabs, no, no, no. This this um, it's 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 a piece of work, a beautiful piece of work. Arguably, he's one of our biggest music exports globally. Does this fifth dimension confirm that? to we here in Ghana and also to the people, everybody, so looking at everybody he's worked with. It, it, it over confirms it. It, is, it. it establishes it, the fact that he's one of our biggest exports, if, if, if not the biggest. Um, he's, he's, uh, he said something about um, culture, culture, um, he said something, culture, culture custodians. And for me, I've always been about cultural imposition, taking our culture and imposing it onto the world, because that's what it is. I've always said that a people are aren't civilized if they are not championing their culture. And, and, and yes, yes, 
a people aren't civilized if they are not championing their culture. And for, for him to be one of the culture custodians, gatekeepers, making sure our culture goes beyond this country, hey, kudos to him and the whole team. And this is coming from Bulldog himself, the Bull God. And I have one of the most controversial voices you can ever have here in Ghana. Yo, what's yeah, up? Yeah, cool, 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 cool. I am sure that you're yeah. super excited tonight. I mean, hearing all the, not only the reggae, but one genre you yeah, so represent, yeah. dancehall. Dancehall, yeah. For and coming from a musician like Stoneboy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's amazing. Seriously, I think Stoneboy has moved from the regular artist or to an international figure. Listening to the entire album, I couldn't make a pick out of it. From the dancehall to the Afro beats to the the high life infusion and all that. I think Stonewall has grown. Yeah, and, and I'm happy for him because we've all been waiting for this level, for Stoneboy to step to the next level in terms of production and, and then content. So I think I mean it's, it's amazing. What, what what will be the difference for you between Anloga and the fifth dimension? No, I think I think the fifth dimension is, is the new level. Anloga was yes, it, it was an, another classic. But but this one I think he took his time to prove that he's not just an a, a dancer artist, but he's a crossover artist. So I I, I prefer fifth dimension to Anloga, but they're all masterpieces. Perfect, perfect albums. But this is my album. Is this now an affirmation of the fact that he is a world-class artist? Oh yes, or a world-class musician. He is. He is. I think we've, we've been we've been we've been we've been arguing and also been discussing this whole Grammy stuff. Who is bringing a Grammy? But and this is the kind of sound that can bring the Grammy. So, so we're ready for the Grammy. Oh now. yeah, the Grammy is coming. So we'll be. <laughs> well, he's here himself and he's having a good time. But we're still going to catch up with him and also find out if indeed this is the much awaited Grammy album. Okay, so you can hear the conversation going on. He's a, you're appreciating this album. Really, really, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I wanted to ask him how far did he have to dig inside himself to bring this kind of songs out? Or was he always there and he just like, okay, I'm gonna unpack this on you guys now? Because when I heard Therapy First, I was like, this is different. This is different. I was like, this is different. And then I'm having the opportunity to hear the rest of the music that he has, and it's phenomenal to me. Like, Someone said border breaking. It's exactly what it is. Like the whole album. And there's something for everybody. There's really something for everybody. There's like the conscious side. There's like the love side. There's like the part that's like, oh, secret lover. It's mind blowing. If anybody hears this, this is an album to get excited about. I'm really, really excited. And you can see it on his face. He's really, really, really super, super excited. But I've seen a big Santana somewhere. Let's just follow me. Let's have a chit chat with a big Santana. Yo, what's up? What's up, bro? I'm sure you are super excited about the fifth dimension. If you do, yeah, you you've known all the tracks on it. You've probably been there recording it. But what what has been the difference for you between seeing him record Angloga? And seeing him record Fifth Dimension. Wow, that's a that's a tough question. Um, sorry, you just got me. No, 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 no. Truth is, um, you see growth, and you don't see like nothing like the person is still the same artist, like the same place that he is. Okay. When you listen to Fifth Dimension, you can actually tell how everything is like different right now. And like a to this is like a whole journey, okay. and it's like. A human being, when you are one year and you are two years, there's going to be a difference. There's, there's growth, you get what I'm saying? So, and I'm so super excited for him. I'm so proud of him because he's really been pushing hard for this one. He's been working so hard. He don't work like who we see him to be like. He's always working like an upcoming artist, and that really pushes me. That, that alone really pushes me. Like, he don't even mind where we are or where we are on tour. Like, we've been around the world touring since, like, you know, like last just, example, in like, Europe, Europe. Let's say last States. year, right? Let's say last year, there are places that, um, as an artist that he is, he wouldn't even want to, like you know, he shouldn't even go there, but he will still go there, go do like a promo, like and anything to make the sound travel to go. He's he's about it, and it really motivates all of us. So this is a much-awaited Grammy, looking forward to win album. Let's see. Okay, you heard it. Let's see. But yeah, I suppose it's Abegu Santana somewhere. Yeah, so follow me. Let's have a chit chat with Abegu Santana, the man. Hello. 
Yo, Mr. Tourism. Mm. We have been here this evening. A lot of people have been blown away just getting to listen to the fifth dimension. Your honest opinion about the fifth dimension? Absolutely an incredible body of work put together by Stone Boy. I'm super, super impressed, especially uh, seeing the engineers or programmers or I mean, those who made the songs. MOG, um, uh, Street Beats, um, Miss Master Gazi, and a whole lot. And putting Angelic Kijo on it, uh, Tiwa Savage, uh, Stormzy, trust me, I mean, we've not had, you know, a full package like this in a while. And I want to commend Stoneboy for the great deal of work. I mean, he's very disciplined, he's very focused, and um, his persistence and, um, you know, creativity, pushing Ghana on the global, you know, stage. And that's what we want. This should be an inspiration, a motivation to each and everyone in the creative art space. That the world is now a foot, you know, stool for everyone. You can make it. You can go beyond the sky. And Stone Boy is leading the way. And I'm so proud of him. I mean, for a young artist like that, a very trendy one, very someone who is urban, to have an ardent, deep heart, to be a cultural custodian. You have also been pushing the culture of Ghana. And one way or the other, some people think it should be left for the old age to push it. What? How do you feel about Stoneboy being a cultural custodian for the for for, for, for Ghana? In fact, um, the low-hanging fruit for Ghana as a destination for creative artists, music, apart from the heritage. So when you put music, heritage together, it's culture. And that's what we want to see. Um, Ghana is notable of its unique culture. And that's why I'm so proud that Stone Boy, as an urban, vibrant, you know, artist, performer, is leading that way. Um, it doesn't stop the rest from following suit and pushing it. Uh, but he said something in this, one of the questions uh, that was posed at him. And he said that we need to do a lot of work, but we need to also change our mindset. That mindset thing is very important. The mindset, it's about how you see yourself and how you see the opportunities around you. Do you see the glass half full or half empty? And I think that he sees the glass half full. All right. So um, once again, Stone Boy has done really, 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 really great job, and he needs to be commended. Is this the much-awaited or much-anticipated album that is going to win as a Grammy? Eight tracks so far. We've listened. We've album. listened to all seventeen. Uh, Where have you been? Seventeen. Yes. No, no. We started okay. with eight. With eight yes. Seventeen yes. out of sixty something. <laughs> so man, you know, nigga got a lot of under his sleeves. So, I definitely know that some one, two, three, four international hit songs are going to come from this album. You saw Unlogger. Yeah. You saw how much attention Unlogger took. Yeah. Do you see Fifth Dimension surpassing what Unlogger did? Most definitely, because um, now he signed up to an international record label, Universal Music Def Jam Africa, and uh, obviously, um, he belongs to a global family, a global network that, you know, will put him to that pedestal. So I, I anticipate that this work will go over and above Angloga. Well, there you heard it from Abigail Santana. Yeah, Mr. Tourism himself and appreciating the fifth dimension. Well, we're still going to go there and have a chat with a few other people and then make sure that we're getting everything we are, we're supposed to be getting. Uh, I've seen Robert Clark here. Let's, let's do the industry talk a little bit with the man here. And I'm sure that is what is going on. They're having the industry talk. Cyril, what's up with you? Charlie, live. Beam to the world. Uh, we're going to come there. Robert, fifth dimension. Yeah. Your general, your honest overview of of everything you've heard tonight. <laughs> everything I won't finish. <laughs> Honestly, summarize it. I'll, I'll try hard because you see, first of all, I'm beyond impressed. This um, this is really a fifth dimension when it comes to because it's a, so we're talking about a fifth level, yeah, and this is like really indeed a fifth level. I'm listening to the songs and I'm loving melody. I'm loving the lyrics. I'm loving the flow. I'm loving the vibe. I'm loving 
the people that have been featured on the songs. Um, as a matter of fact, you know, if you take your top four um, big markets, music music markets in the world, he's featured people from three of them. We have US being number one. Number two is Japan. Obviously, there's nobody on it. But number three is UK, and number four is Germany. I think number two, yeah. So it's Germany. So it's featured Germany. It's featured um, what's the name? UK and featured US. So again, that should tell you clearly the kind of connections that he's building for himself and the kind of markets he wants to be able to play within. And so that's huge. Then you come to the um, Africa itself, the Angeliki Joe um, featured song, the Fale Kelly, like how you are able to touch with your base and still be futuristic. You understand? It's like you, you, are, you, are, you are in connection with the base and yet you are still futuristic in the expression of your artistic values and it's lovely. You understand? So it's a buffet. Like, why you need your fan? Oh, no, there's. The, yeah, there's. I'm, I'm lost with the gun, though, don't worry. Yeah, but yeah, I'll yeah, catch Don't up. worry. Like, it'll be, it be buffet. So, the Okro Stew Day here, the. Continental Day here. Uh, no, and they, everything. You mix some. Yeah, where would they eat? Wait, you know they finish. <laughs> if you're so bad, they eat them. Eat them in Yeah, you know what I mean? So, yo, yo, it's, it's, it's lovely. And I'm extremely proud because, um, you know, with all the exposure he has and everything, um, if it would have, if it was anything less than this, it would have been a bit disappointing. But then again, he beyond, he nailed it, and I'm beyond impressed. I'm loving it, and I can only is wish this, him the best of luck. Is this going to cut into the Grammy circles that we've been waiting for? The oh, and let me also mention this. Um, no, that's one of the key things. I think that. Um, Based on the, the back ends, all the Dev Jam and stuff like that, the fact that he's done a listening, the release of, you see, for you to earn Grammys, the release has to be within the US space. So put the two together. So in other words, he's telling us that we are ready to, this album is going to cut into the Grammy circles, right? Yes, so once you are able to even release in that particular space, then it means you put things in the right space to be recognized. So we leave the rest uh, to the most high God. Okay, Cyril. Now you also so tell me what you have come to actualize or what your takeaway for the fifth element, fifth dimension is going is. Well, Charlie, long story short, the fifth di dimension is a project from a world artist. He just happens to be from Ghana, to be very honest. I keep saying this, and I think this album cements that fact. We, 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 we need to begin to think of Stoneboy, his brand and his music, as music that belongs to the world. We just own him as a native of Ghana. Because the features, the production, the style, the quality, everything speaks of an album that is ready to take on the world. And that's, that's what I think the fifth dimension is going to do for Ghana music in general. My personal favorites on the project, my personal favorites, Angeli Kijo, definitely, because of the content. It's, it's telling the human story. It's just maybe an advantage or disadvantage to have it as a purely airway song. But that's something that adds to the native, authentic feel of it. And I know where the strategy for that is going. But for the rest of the tracks, Party after party after party after party, we will be jamming. This is definitely a success, and I'm just privileged to be here to be a part of it all. The whole country thought Aloga was the it. Is, it is of a big Do you see this surpassing Aloga? Definitely, because like I said, this connects directly to the world sound. If you are in Europe, if you are in the Americas, even if you are still on the continent, you can resonate with this music without thinking it's in a box. When I hear my piano, I think South Africa. When I hear Afrobeats, I think Ghana or Niger. When I hear hip-hop, I think America. When I hear grime, I think UK. When I hear the fifth dimension, I don't care. I just, I think global, I think great music. And that's the door that we needed to open. And I think the fifth dimension has opened that door. No long thing, my brother. No long thing. No long thing. Whatever padlock it is, now we have the Yebubu <laughs> Yassan. Padlock issue. Stoneboy Duan, beam to the world. Well, you heard it, beam to the world. And that is what is happening here. Well, just follow me. Let's have this trial. Let's have this trial. Now, yo, what's up? How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm good. How are you? So, quick one. Fit dimension. Your takeaway from the fit dimension. I think that the fifth dimension album is a border breaker and is an, is an album for the Grammys. 
You know what? The features on the album, one after the other, it's it's unparalleled to what the albums we've heard here in Ghana. And I want to say that Stoneboy has shattered the course and he's continually leading and placing Ghana on the map. And absolutely, positively, I am behind this album and making sure that it's going to blow on my radio show. So make sure you listen to it. Okay. I need to take you out of the two reggae dancehall fanatics. Now let me go to him first. Yes, the seven star general. Well, I have heard what you have said about yeah. the dancehall and the reggae on the album. Yeah. I don't know if that is the, those are the only things you are going to, I mean, take away from the fifth dimension. No, you know, um, the album is a world music album. This is a this is a world music album. Just 17 songs. We have dancehall, we have reggae, we have ama piano, we have Afrobeat, we have everything in there. World music album. And he's going for the Grammys, straight. Okay. Well, I don't think I need to talk anymore, do I? Straight Grammys. So this is the key um, that is going to open this, that door. This body of works, trust me, if Stoneboy don't get another the Grammys, if you fear. If you see the young baby. If you see the young wage, baby. Well, Adam, I mean, you have known Stoneboy. I mean, ever since when he started, all his. Unlogger was one of the pinnacles for Stoneboy, the fourth album, Unlogger. But this seems to have outdone Unlogger. Do you also see same and feel same? I think he's even outlived himself more than what I thought. Yes. You know, if anyone who pays attention to the album, or by the time you're airing this interview, if you pay attention to the vocal range and the way he's been able to explore different genres, from reggae to dance or Afrobeat, I'm a piano, high life, uh, the folklore music, and all of that. You know, he's been able to cement himself all through. So it's difficult to actually even box Stoneboy as a reggae artist or as a dancehall artist. And it takes a lot of work to actually get to this level. And I feel there's a spirituality that is attached to it. No wonder the album title, Fifth Dimension. People who are actually on spiritual levels and they take their spirituality very serious, they would perfectly understand what exactly I'm talking about. It's not easy to take yourself out of the whole stardom thing and just live in creativity, minus the stardom or whatever clouds that comes with it and still prove yourself to people that, yes, I'm sending a message out there. And now, Stoneboy is actually a global album. We can say with the Fifth Dimension album, Stoneboy is now a certified global artist not because he didn't feature any Ghanaian artists on the album but because of the levels and how he's been able to produce a versatile album that cuts across different spheres yes well you have the man uh Evan Bini over there well we're still here we're still having a good time but this is one man who plays a lot of music on radio and perfect I be well uh, th this album is really blowing a lot of people away well, for me, I'm, I'm not surprised. I mean, I came here to listen to, I mean, songs that I've not heard most of. Now, I've heard some of their songs, but I'm not surprised that, I mean, everybody's blown away. It's Stone Boy, you know, for God's sake, it's Stone Boy. And, I mean, I think my expectations were met and even beyond, yes. Yeah, of course. So, I think this album is the boundary breakers and it's taking Ghana and Stone Boy worldwide. I mean, this is the representation of Ghana worldwide. Representation of Ghana worldwide, that is what Perfect would like to put it. Still, a lot of people are tripping and a lot of people are coming in. But we are going to go back, because I've seen Dr. Louisa somewhere behind me. So we're going to go back and have a chit-chat with her and find out if she herself has a favorite on this particular album. If anybody in the building can listen to what I have to say, it's very important. Dimension ha has officially had the private listening session. Listen but album, let's get, let's get here and find out. What is happening over here? Sure. Russ, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Well, listening to the fifth dimension. Yes. A lot of people have had their favorite in there. I know definitely you have your favorite, but yes. what would you have to say about fifth dimension as compared to the other guys? Fifth, the fifth dimension is the new Stone Boy. It's Stone Boy extending his reach, going beyond by, by, um, boundaries, and like, showing the dexterity of his craft. And we are very proud of him. We are proud to be associated with the brand. And hopefully we would, the album will blow, we will see more laurels, and we'll make Ghana proud. Any favorite in there so far oh, yes. with what you've listened to? Oh yeah, Secret Lover. <laughs>
<laughs> boys have secret <laughs> loves. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Boys have secret no, no, no. loves. It's Ibi the Craft. <laughs> I can't relate to the song. I, I'm not relating to the song. You're not relating to the song. It's just the craft. It's just the craft. It's just the craft. And yes, yes, how he's been able to oh, weave yeah. the words together. around. Yeah, the, but then Charlie, that, that, that song, there. Yeah. Okay. It will bring problem, but. <laughs> well, we still here at levels and we are not done. We are, it's the fifth dimension that has brought us here. Was so, so, sorry. I don't see any reason. how you doing? I'm well, you? I am great. I, and and it is so interesting to see a lot of people here to support Stoneboy. But the fifth dimension, what has been your favorite so far? I think the one with Angelique Kijo. Oh, the last, the number seven. Yeah, the number seven. Why? Why is that? I think Angelique Kijo is somebody that you've already always known to be like a, a non ghanaian right? But whenever she's singing her song, sometimes it's like you can hear something and you wonder ah, is she speaking away is she speaking away but in this song now i can definitely confirm that this is stone boy is singing in airway this is anjali kijo she's singing in airway and the song is actually quite a deep song you know it talks about perseverance and you know the, the kind of tenacity that you need to make progress in life you know so i think it's quite a very deep song and i, I really like that it's a relatable one for you i can tell I, yes exactly you understand ever Yes, yes. Oh, okay, now I understand why. Yeah. So that, that's part of why you have the goosebumps listening to such legends, you know, singing in, in, in a, a language that's very familiar to you, that is your home language, you know. Yeah, so. This really must mean a lot to you. Indeed, it, it, it does, it does, it does. For you to have had good goosebumps, thank that, you that very really. Much. Doc, thank you so how much. are you doing? Very well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you all so much for coming. I'm sure Soon. you have so gone through. All the mill, the stress, the excitement, the down times on making sure that fifth, fifth dimension has been done. How's the, how's the journey been? Well, so the journey has been very interesting. Um, lots of emotions, you know. Um, a lot of hard work, obviously, especially from Stoneboy. And I mean, it's just so exciting to see such genuine responses from people when they hear the song and you're like, yes, you know, all of his hard work is finally, you know, paying off and showing. So you can imagine the kind of um, response that everyone else would have when they get to hear the song. So, I mean, sitting here has been a bit emotional for me seeing all of this coming to life. Yeah. Well, I am sure you are. Do, do you ever anticipate that the fifth dimension was going to be? Or was going to have a huge listening privately like this? Um, no, actually, this was not really um, in the plan like that. But I think it came up last minute for you know to sample a, sample the songs for a few people, and so that's how this is happening. And you know, it was supposed to be something really, really small, but you know, look at the numbers turning up. So, and there's going to be an even bigger one when the album drops. So. Yeah, that's that's good. I'm sure you get to listen to the tracks even before it even gets to the studio, right? <laughs> what, <laughs> what has been your favorite? Do you have any on the Fifth Dimension? See, that's the thing. Fifth Dimension is so hard to choose like a particular favorite because it's like a no-skip album. It has such a great replay value. When you start from track one, you actually end up listening to all the songs so you get to track 17. But Forget is one of my favorites. Um, obviously, Manoji is also another favorite. In Control is another favorite. Into the Future, I don't think they played Into the Future. Okay, okay. Yeah, so Into, Into the Future is also another one I like. I may end up calling all 17. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Well, and, and, and the amount of, the quantum of work that has gone in this album, did it ever take a toll on you at home? Um, no, you know how Stone is. Well, my house is like a musical home. Everybody is musically inclined in one way or the other. So, um, taking a toll, no. I think it's just been more of everybody um, coming on board, giving opinions, giving um, uh, genuine thoughts and the emotions that the songs generate in us, and those are all great feedback for him um, when he's creating music. So, uh, take a toll, no, not really, but it's just been a nice process. It's been very and an, a very enjoyable process for everyone. A lot of people are already saying that this is the key to unlock the Grammy, the Grammy dimension or the Grammy arena. You feel the same? Um, yeah, that's. I, I mean, for for that to be a general consensus by everyone. 
That's great, and we all pray that that could come to pass. Hallelujah. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're still here. It's still at levels. Let's find out what a lot of people who have heard the song. How low? How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Is it that you're not enjoying the songs, or you're just taking time to actually soak them? I'm just a calm personality, and I just enjoy being like this. Yeah. But uh, have you heard any song on the fifth dimension that you might consider a favorite? Secret Lover. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a beautiful song. Um, great feel. And it takes everyone back. If not now, it will take you back to your probably adulthood, teenage days, where you know you had someone your parent didn't know. It doesn't necessarily have to be another woman somewhere. It could be your parent not knowing that you have a boyfriend. It could be someone that you like so much, not knowing that there's someone else that you admire. So it's a beautiful song, and I love it. Have you had any guy who has made you a secret lover? How many? How many? Well, how would I know? But because oh, they have not been able, they well, have not been bold enough. But you won't be. I mean, you you would not come and tell me I'm the secret one. You would definitely tell me I'm the main one. Mm -hmm. However, uh -huh. we all know that the men have their way of protecting, and by way of doing yeah, that, know, right? they end up telling you you are the main, even though you are the secret. So <laughs> I'm not, I'm not surprised that once upon a time, I. I've dated someone who has zoomed or probably prioritized me as a secret one when I thought I, I was. Very, very, very disheartening when you get to find out, right? Um, not really. I think that you just realize your value and move on. If you want to stay because you're enjoying something there or you're enjoying him to the core, every aspect, I mean. Why not? You stay. But I think in my case, I'd, I'd, I'd left. I'll leave. Yeah. I left. I actually left. Yeah. Yeah. When you know your value, you leave. But Secret Love, well, that is also my my favorite. Though. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. On, on, the, on the fifth dimension. It, it, and then coming from Stone Boy is another thing altogether. I mean, this guy puts in every effort, every hard work. And every passion, thoughts, you know, uniqueness in every song that he produces. And for me, that's what we have to continue, you know, enjoying. We have artists in Ghana that are amazing. And it's amazing to know that, look, they are hardworking and always would want to put Ghana on the map. Yeah. Enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs>